Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we're going to be upgrading the fabulous Ellie kit TU8200R. Um, this kit, we did a series of YouTube videos um, a month or so ago and it features a 6L6 valve on the output, single-ended, but saying that you can actually use various different other valves. You can use KT66, EL34, KT88, 6550 and probably a KT90. So very versatile amp. When you buy the kit you basically are, are given some me medium par kind of components, they're not too bad. Uh, so we're going to take it apart and get rid of some of the components that Nick could do with some improvement. Let's, let's crack on. So we're going to take it apart. Okay, so when you're taking this out, you might think that these screws are connected to lifting the PCB out. No, not the case. Actually, holding in place um, some 220 package chips underneath. So I've realized now, looking at the instructions, that there's three screws one, two, three, sneakily hidden in the middle of the octal there and they're the chappies that need to be removed so in we go obviously when you're doing this make sure you're not plugged in you don't have it plugged in clearly you get a shock so there we go so now what we're going to do is look at the circuit diagram and decide what we're going to change what components we're going to change and also just to be conscious of the size of the components we're going to change because there isn't a lot of scope in increasing the height, certainly of these electrolytics here. Um, resistors shouldn't be a problem. All right, so let's circuit diagram out, get a notepad and scribble down some ideas. Okay, so here we have the circuit diagram for um, the TU8200R. Doesn't really flow off the tongue, the name, does it? Anyway, so first thing I've seen, observed, not that I noticed it the first time. So one of the main upgrades people do for um, the for any kind of thing that has a volume control is change the volume pot. Um, you can see here that they've quite cleverly made this board so you can cut it out. So snip, 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 snip there. And then as long as you have the upright section in place, which you have done, because there's brackets here and here. There's brackets there, and it's held in place there. I think you can actually get rid of this kind of low key potentiometer and change it. And there's enough space there to fit. Um, let's just have a look, see how it's connected under me. The only thing is you're gonna to have to do a bit of work and connecting up the board, which I think we can do. So I'll, that's a whole new thing. So what I'm gonna do is write down the bits I want to change. So the volume's there, and it's a 50K log pot there. So VR, 50K. I straight away would put um, a TKD in there, and I'll put the uh, 2CP2511, but just that, I'm going to put a question mark over that because I know that you're going to have to do some jiggery pokery with the soldering because there are connections going on there. And then going through the circuit, I'm just going to scribble down the ones I change. So you've got your cathode circuit here. See, this is kind of duplicated. So I'm going to ring that there. So that's. That doesn't say voltage. Not going to be particularly high. Yeah, so C1 and C2, 2-2 UF. Hasn't got voltage, but I reckon it's these. Interesting, they haven't written a voltage down, but they have got a test point here, 2 and 1. So I can easily figure out what voltage. It's not going to be particularly high, probably about 2 volts. So that's that one then, voltage, question mark, I have to look into that one. And then it's got a 1K, so R5, R6, 
is 1k and I'll check the wattage but I mean these all look to be kind of at least half watt so I can check that one so this is for the E sorry the 12 AU7 ECC83 so that's cathode cap cathode resistor um, I'll leave, probably leave that 12, there's two 12 R's there. Don't worry about that one too much. And then looking down here, you've also got a similar cathode circuit for the other side of the 12 AU6. It's the same. So that's going to be C5, C6, and then R11, R. 12. Cool. What I'm going to do is list the actual values that they're using and then make a suggestion afterwards. So the next biggie is the C3. This is coming from the anode of the 12 AU7 here. So C3 and C4. And this is 0.1 UF. And that's and that's connecting straight up. So that's the decoupler cap. So that's these guys. I'm looking at these. So voltage. I mean, I'd put 630 volt in there. And then there's more coming off the second part of the 12U7, which is C9 and C10, same value, C9, C10. So treat the same there, though I might mix, it, mix them up. And then you've got the anode resistors for the 12U7 there. They're all 27Ks and they've used one watts here. So what's that one? Uh, Seven uh, R eight R twenty R fourteen and R thirteen, and that's all twenty seven K one watts. Cool. So I might I would shake it up a bit and have use one type there and then one type there. So they're a pair. And they repair as is with that and that. So yeah, I would definitely mix them up. Different types, because it's always best to have different types of components that have all the same mix, mix up, because you get the best characteristics from each type. Um, there are various 10 UF 400 volts, which look to be power supply related. I'll, I'll write those down, but I think we're going to struggle to find anything because the height of those You can't go any higher than this. I, don't, I can't think there's anything that's better than those. But we'll have a look. So, PSU stuff. Um, and then, what do we have here? This, I think this is, needs to be looked at. So, you can see the screen grid comes down here. comes straight from the power, the volume control. All right, so there's no, nothing in the way there. That just goes to earth, so that's fine. I reckon this is the feedback, this stuff here. So C18 is one nanofarad, and C17, and then R31 and then R32 is 1k and then you've got another resistors there so R34 R33 which is 220R so they're important that's feedback stuff 
for there. Cool. And then we're going to be coming across now to the output valves, 6L6. Comes in there. They don't have any grid stoppers, which is cool. They're quite stable then. They go straight in. The cathode circuit has C13, C14. These will be changed. C14, which is 330 UF. 25 volt, so cathode for 6L6. Let's see if I can find those. I said it was 330, didn't I? Yeah, they're 25 volt here. That's those there. You can press the 25 volt, I'll write it down, you see sausage. Um, so there's a, we could have some more height on there, so we should get something good in there. Uh, that's cool. And then it's got this thing called active automatic bias, which includes a chip, uh, well, a transistor there. See, so you can swap the valves around and it all becomes good. So that I think that's about it. I'll, that all I'd change really. Um, looking at the power supply, I'd leave as is. Maybe the big reservoir one. I'd change, which is this guy, one eight zero four fifty volt. So let's find that on the circuit diagram. There we go. C twenty two. 80454. So I might change that one to come up with. C22. Cool. So what I'll do now is I'll put an order through the site for the bits that I feel uh, would be good and I'll I'll show you that what I've come up with with the price. Um, so keep it within budget. There you go.